They gotta be moving that way. They're just rolling all around. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still sitting here in Boca Grand Pass. We got Captain Tad Vandenmark on the front of the boat here with us, and uh, we're gonna show you a tarpon here, hopefully. They've, they've just shown up in the pass here. Right here, they just Like that one right there. And uh, I better get my bait over there to them. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one to eat. Tell you what, this pass has it all. I'm catching groupers, kingfish, tarpon, snappers. It's like a smorgasbord. Any of them world famous uh, Gulf sturgeon in here? <laughs> <laughs> Tad, here we go, here we go, here we go. There he is. About time we got one to eat. Come on, baby. <clears throat> That one's fighting like a tarpon. A little bit, a little bit. Come on up, baby, come on, 12 o'clock. That would be a nice tarpon. There he comes. Straight up, baby. That is a kingfish. I, I told you there's monsters in here. Holy moly. I got a gaff in there. Where? Right in there. That's a giant kingfish. I told you. <laughs> On mono. I didn't know Seaguar is good, huh? I thought that was a tarpon for the longest time because it looked like he was going to jump. He's so long. I didn't see where the hook was there. I'm going to get one shot at him. That is a monster kingfish, dude. <laughs> He's right on the side, too. Somebody be eating some smoked kingfish tonight. Not, not there, bro. Because he's going to go ape cuckoo when he comes. <laughs> That's a kingfish there. Well, we're going to show you a king, a silver king. That's the wrong silver king, but that is a huge silver king. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this guy around so you can see what this guy looks like. Oh, that's an SKA kingfish. That is definitely an SKA kingfish. I got this. Wow, that is a monster. You talk about a fish that will cut your finger off. Those teeth right there are sharper than shark's teeth. Wow, that is a monster. Can you grab this rod and get it out of your way? It's around your foot, so be careful. And that is about the only way you're going to catch a uh, catch a kingfish on monofilament line. Use a circle hook because it gets them in the corner of the mouth. He did left hand turns the whole way and never got that leader in his mouth. Watch this. If it, if it had just gone in there, that's how easy he would have cut that line if he'd have opened his mouth. Razor sharp. <laughs> Razor sharp. Hey, are we gonna are we gonna have some smoked fish dip? Yeah, I'm gonna smoke it. I'll send it to you. Alright. I got the smoker ready to go at the house. Well, I'm gonna get this guy in the sun and show him off one good time. That's beautiful from this angle right here. You can see him flashing. That is a beautiful fish. Kingfish from Boca Grand Pass. That's the first time I've ever seen a kingfish caught in Boca Grand Pass. When we left the dock this morning, I told you we've been catching some of these kings in the 30 pound class train for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. And you know what? That was perfect. How we caught them on mono with that circle hook is classic. Let's get re-rigged and uh, see if we can get us a, a tarpon. So we got a grouper, a kingfish, and I'll show you a silver king. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with some more dick to fishing right here in Boca Grande Pass with Captain Tad Vandermark. Woo, that's a good fish. That's what we've been waiting for. Look at the balcony, fixing to take off. Fixing to light it up, baby. <laughs>